Yes, even though they're disappointed at the outcome the other night, and oh, they don't forget where they were not so long ago. It's amazing, really, you know, to in such a short space of time to achieve what they've achieved, to get to where they where they are, to get into competition like the Champions League. You know, nobody would have ever predicted that it would have happened as quickly as it has done. The whistle's gone from the referee, but Fulham weren't quite ready. Now we get underway at St James's, live on BBC Radio Newcastle and also on NUFC TV. Fulham back to the goalkeeper at the Leaser's end. Newcastle kicking up the hill towards our left in the first half. Newcastle try to put together something that can result in a goal for them. Gordon and Cher are next to the ball. It's on the right side, right of centre. Cher to Gordon, and back again, and Fabian Cher went for a curler. And it's wide at the near post, but it had Leno across, diving, just to make sure. Where they've got forward, got in behind. The sales gets the better of Jimenez, and then Joe Linton on to Gordon. Three in the box, Gordon cuts inside, plays it back to Bruno. Oh, over it. Bruno over the top of the bar, inside of the right foot from the edge of the area. Will be disappointed that he didn't hit the target. Bruno tried to take it forwards, Fulham win it back. It will be, it's a good battle. And it's gone for a Newcastle throw, 30 yards from the visitors' goal, nil-nil. Oh, now that is going to be a Newcastle free kick. Raul Jimenez with a challenge there that is going to see him get a yellow card and it's on Sean Longstaff and they collided Longstaff is on the floor he's got his hands on his face he's clearly been hurt by the Jimenez challenge and VAR are checking for a possible red card for serious foul play it's Michael Salisbury the VAR James Mannering the assistant VAR and referee Sam Barrett felt that it was a it was a yellow card but VAR are having a look and the referee is going to check the monitor although well, he's having a long look at it once, once they Barrett. go he'll send them off it's probably it's just it's not intentional it's just the way that he catches him doesn't look good the referee makes the VAR signal says no yellow card reaches into his pocket and Fulham striker Raul Jimenez is sent off the yellow card has been upgraded to a red his manager Marco Silva stares at the floor shakes his head and the visitors are down to 10 men it was a yellow the on-field decision but VAR recommended a review and it's red for Jimenez and nil nil at St James's Park and Fulham are down to 10 Longstaff moves it on to Kraft and Almiron. Back to Emil Kraft. Now Bruno Guimaraes, you've seen a lot of it. Joa Linton helps it to the right wing, to Almiron. On the outside to Kraft. Now the cross. Gordon takes it down. Here's Anthony Gordon. Hits the bar. Oh, and it wouldn't come down for Longstaff. Gordon against the bar. Yeah, I mean, as I say, Castagna gets caught under the ball drops for Gordon takes it down hits it with his left foot unfortunately hits the underside of the bar and bounces out referees letting the half go on and on Almiron's come from the right wing to the left side of the attack gives it to Gordon there's five Newcastle players in the box and Gordon with it just outside the area Gordon goes for goal the effort is too high and there's the half-time whistle, John Anderson. Yeah, I've had all the ball, hit the crossbar, but we haven't worked the goalkeeper enough. Uh, we, we need to move it quicker. Half-time at St James's, Newcastle United nil, Fulham nil. Fabian Scher and Joe Linton both replaced in the first half. It means they start now the second period after the substitutions earlier with Dubravka, Kraft, Lascelles, Byrne and Livramento at the back. 
Miley, Bruno, Longstaff in midfield, Almiron on the right, Gordon on the left, Wilson up front, and Fulham with 10, with Raul Jimenez sent off, Avleno in goal, Castagna, Tosin, Diop and Robinson, Kearney, João Polinia, Iwobi, Pereira, Wilson. Iwobi, I think, Ando's kind of playing as the forward, isn't he? But just Yeah, he's the, he's the one forward or forward. Just uh, like 4 4 one yeah. isn't it? Yeah. They've got a new stand at Kenilworth Road. Livramento, good run. Still going. Cuts it back. Wilson gets there. Laid off to Anthony Gordon. Good save, low down by Leno. First time he's really been tested. Gordon right-footed. Leno left-handed makes the save. Lots of space for Livramento. As they switch the play. He's cut inside. Bruno away from Palinia. Bruno still going. Brilliant run. Lewis Miley, big chance! Lewis Miley! His first Newcastle goal. Oh, Lewis Miley, what a moment. On for the injured Joe Linton. Miley has hammered United into the lead. 17 years of age, but his time is now. This is Gordon through. Callum Wilson might be in. Wilson down in the box. Almiron! Callum Wilson challenged in the penalty area, but the ball ran loose for Miguel Almiron, who smashes it home into the empty net for his fifth of the season. And they extend their lead on 64 minutes. It's Newcastle United 2, Fulham 0. Well, he's not going to miss from there, that's for sure. I mean, yet again, not the greatest defending by, by Fulham. Ooh. Wilson, it's going to be tight, they might check the offside. I'm not saying anything. He didn't touch the ball, though, did he? Well, nothing wrong with Almiron's part in the goal, Ando. Now we can see Ando, the screen, are they going to put the lines on for us? They say that they've just done it there, but they didn't go red or green to show whether it was on or off. Um, this could be good. And the roar tells us all we need to know. Almiron's goal stands, Wilson was level, and it's Newcastle 2, Fulham 0. Passed out to the left wing to Gordon, knocks it away from Muniz. Then the cross, they're queuing up at the back post. Wilson took it down, it's cleared as far as Emil Kraft, who had a touch and then had a go with the shot, which is over the bar. Yeah, Wilson does great at the back post. The ball's played in, does great to get something on it. They half clear it, Kraft edge of the penalty area. First touch gets away from him slightly. It's always stretching for it to hit, isn't he? It's always just rising over the top of the crossbar. Good hit, though. A lot of power in the shot from Kraft. Almiron, good play. Inside, then back outside to Emil Kraft in the corner. Oh, Kraft through the legs of Decor Dover Reed. And the obstruction brings Newcastle a free kick from Decor Dover Reed, blocking off Kraft after that lovely bit of skill. As he lines up behind the free kick, Bruno Gimaraish. Dan Byrne in the box, couldn't get the header away. It's come back out to Bruno after Almiron's shot is blocked. He's lifted it to the back post, Byrne! Yes! Yes! Dan Byrne has got the ball into the net. And they have a third goal. And the big man gets the celebrations. He's scored at the Gallagher end. Oh, and he enjoyed that one, Byrne might have hit the keeper and come back to him, but it ended up in the net. And Newcastle United well clear now and heading for three points. 
It's Newcastle United 3, Fulham nil. The original header saved by Leno. And just bounces off his knee straight back to Dan Bourne, who just walks it into an empty net. It's always a special occasion when Dan Byrne scores. 3-0 the score. Hall's intercepted. It's a heavy touch. And Fulham have it back. And Sam Barrett blows for full time. The response that Eddie Howe was looking for from his team to their elimination from the Champions League and the end of their European adventure. A 3-0 victory over Fulham at St James's Park. Playing against ten men for three quarters of the match after the Raul Jimenez red card after the VAR check 